My name is Ross Chuggamar Williams. I'm a Tinner Creek uh, Warramuga man. Years ago, I was, uh, I was a co founder with the Farney Brothers. We started in Paja Cup. It was the uh, summer of uh, 93, 94. I was down the street next to the main street of Tinner Creek, and I ran into my cousin. His name was Mervyn Franey. So I sat there and pretty warm. It's about 45, 46 degrees. He invited me in for a for a beer, so we sat down. I just then I remember that he was uh, one of the directors of uh, Imparja board. So I had a quiet beer with him and had a chat with him. And I said, "Look, there's a, could, is there any chance of you having a chat to the board member, other board members regarding a cricket game between Alice Springs and Tennant Creek? And it'd, and it'd be all about uh, getting to know each other, getting the players to uh, relate to their families that they haven't." They haven't met in Alice Springs, and they are related to them, and they, they, haven't, they didn't know that. So we got two teams together, and we started playing in Tennant Creek first. The first three matches we played was in Tennant Creek without no sponsorship. We just got the group together and we helped each other with the fuel and that to get to uh, Tennant Creek to play at the games. So we played three off games, three games there. And the first uh, the games that uh, was won by was Alice Springs, that series. Then the following year we moved to Alice Springs and uh, then we played a few games in Alice. Eventually, anti cricket uh, uh, sat down together again with us. And we got the uh, ladies team started. And the ladies team, it was fantastic to see four teams playing the ladies the first for gun. A lot of the ladies were pretty uh, pretty enthusiastic to play the game and it was good to see that, the men's and the ladies. So we formed our own team, made, you know, made of mothers, sisters, so we're all family members. Um, yeah, we just love it, like coming back, the atmosphere, as you can see, you know, a lot of people come down to watch us. Um, brings back the old days um, when we were all kids and we used to follow all our parents around and, you know, these are the things that we're really good at. So, um, just, yeah, brings a really nice atmosphere for family. So, I suppose as long as Empadja Cup sticks around, so will we. Um, none of us play local comp, so we all just put together and play our cricket. Good atmosphere, you know, families all come together and so we just thought well we'll chuck in a team one year and, and then the ladies, they've actually all their missuses, they've got a team together now and they've kicked up too so it's good. Terrible this year, this is 10th year, we've made a lowest score ever. <laughs> and we're the first team bowled out on CDU Oval. <laughs> yeah, not real flash this year, but. 
come back and redeem yourself. We'll come back and redeem ourselves next year. <laughs> I've been coming to the Empire Cup for about five or six years now. Um, this year we decided to change the name from Tungajiri Four Corners to Camp Dogs. Um, mainly because of that is most of our guys are from different town camps of Alice Springs and got strong family ties and connections to all of the camps of Alice Springs. Um, yeah, and it, it, it's good to come back and catch up with mates and opponents and you know and all that and have a bit of fun and have a laugh and and enjoy the game of cricket. You know. Um, When we first started, none of the guys knew how to hold a bat or bowl. Um, we don't train. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, we just play the cups here. We go out and play indoor cricket and then we come and play the community cup. And yeah, and it's good to see the boys uh, develop because they've, they've come a long way with, with their cricket. You know, like every summer we being Indigenous, we grew up with a football in our hand and you don't really see an Indigenous boy with a cricket bat or a cricket ball walking around. So um, I'm proud of my boys for, or my men for um, yeah, playing. They, they, they fought hard this year and we, we went undefeated. You know, it wasn't looking good for the first two days with the rain. Um, and then it finally stopped raining and got to play some good cricket. And the boys, to their credit, um, dug deep and, and they went all the way and, and made it to the final. And, and won the grand final. This day, I think it's just 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 bloom. Like I said, from little things, things, big things grow, and a lot of Aboriginal people haven't played cricket, they play a lot of football, Aussie rules, rugby, basketball, and netball. So it was the first first sort of championships in the territory, all all Indigenous carnival. So it was fantastic, and just since then, it's just grown and grown and.